In this video, I'm going to show you a quick rotate shortcut in the Vectric software that you are going to find very useful. IDCWoodcraft.com I'm Garrett with IDC Woodcraft, the company that you get your CNC router bits from to carve out your amazing CNC projects. I want to show you this little shortcut, the Vectric software that most people don't know about that you are going to be happy that you know when it comes to rotating objects. We're in my Vectric software. You see, I've got this oval here. Well, let's just say I want this oval to be at 45 degrees or 90 degrees. Well, I can go into the rotate function by hitting the letter R and then I can come over, I have to select the item, and then I can come over to this little area here and type in 45 or 90 and then enter. So several mouse clicks. But the other faster, faster way of doing this is select the object and hit the number nine on your keyboard and it's gonna rotate the selected objects by 45 degrees, just like that. I'm gonna hit nine again and there we go. Now, why would you want to do something like this? Even though you can already see it's a very beneficial little tool, here's why I like this. I'm gonna undo this, control Z, and let's say I've got a project, uh, a sign that I wanna make. And that sign is gonna be 12 by 24. We're gonna just change the material size here, 24, there we go. And now we have a 12 by 24 project, and the sign is gonna be oriented this way, here I'll show you what I mean. I'm gonna type in some words here. We're gonna type in, and we'll type in IDC Woodcraft. And then we'll type in subscribe. And I'm gonna close that. Now, let's just say, I'm gonna hit number nine twice. And we're gonna center that up. Here's a little shortcut for you too. The F9 button will take your whatever is selected and center it up on the job material. So I'm gonna hit F9 and that has just centered it up. Now, what if I wanna put some swirls around here and position things? Let's just say I'm gonna do a quick underline using the freehand drawing tool and we will select that and I will just go like that and I'm trying to draw an underline. There we go and we'll just uh, leave it at that. Well, this can be kind of weird to design like that where things are sideways and you're designing sideways. So here's what I like about this little tool is I can do all my designing the right way. I'm going to, oops, control Z. And we're gonna get out of that freehand tool. I'm gonna grab all that stuff, select it. Here's another quick shortcut. I've double clicked everything and now I'm gonna come up to this little bead right there. I'm gonna to start to rotate it. Now I'm just gonna hold it there and I'm gonna type in minus 90 and hit enter and then I let my mouse button go, and now this thing is where it's at. Okay, I wanna do my designing with the project oriented where I'm used to it. I don't wanna have to design like that. I wanna design like that. But I have to have my board set up longwise on my machine that way. So when all is said and done, I do all the design work, and then I rotate everything. So we're just gonna do that real quick. I'm going to resize things just a tad, just to uh, make this work better for you and you can see what I'm doing. So we have got that, we're gonna squeeze that down. We're gonna upsize this oval that I have here. Let's get that bead and upsize that darn thing. I'm gonna scale it up. So in order to scale, to get to the scale menu, just hit the letter T and then we have opened up the scale menu and I'm gonna set that to, uh, we'll say 20 and hit enter or apply and we'll go 22 and apply and that's good. Now we're gonna take IDC Woodcraft, we're gonna bring that down. I've just reselected something. I'm still gonna set the size or scale. I'm gonna change that to 16 so I get IDC Woodcraft on the inside. There we go. Now I'm gonna close that and while I've got these selected, you can see IDC Woodcraft subscribe is off center so I'm gonna hit the F9 button just like that and then we have this underline here. We will squish that down a little bit by doing that. So I can do all my design work right there, just like this. I'm gonna use arrow keys. Now I'm gonna center everything up. I select everything, hit F9, it's all centered. Now I've done all my design work on this project with the exception that little underline needs to come down just a little bit so it's not touching the S there. Now the whole thing is designed that way. 
but my project has to be that way on the machine. Now I can just grab everything and rotate it 90 degrees by hitting the number nine. So I'll select everything, or I can hit Control A and that will select everything as well. Another shortcut key. Then I just hit the number nine twice and now my project is set up. I did all my designing the right way and now I just rotated it for the machine. I can set up my tool paths and then rock and roll. So what, we learned three shortcuts. We learned that number nine will rotate things 45 degrees. Uh, learned how to get to the scale tool, which is the T, two shortcuts, and then centering projects up, which is the F9 button. Another way to get into the rotate function is simply by hitting the letter R on the keyboard. I'm going to do that real quick. We're going to, let's do this. Let's hit Control Z so we bring it back. We can select everything, hit the letter R on the keyboard, and you can see that the uh, rotate function has been opened up. We're going to set that to absolute. I'm going to set it to 90 degrees right there, and then we'll click apply, and the thing will rotate to 90 degrees. So now you know a fourth one, which is the letter R. There you go. A few quick shortcuts in the Vectric software to help speed up your designing so that you can get to your machine and start carving a lot faster. Make sure you stop by idcwoodcraft.com to get your CNC router bits to carve out your amazing projects, and I will see you in the next video. idcwoodcraft.com